Hi team, Phyllis, this is girl Amy. Welcome back to the channel. So I got this question from a subscriber and I promised to do a video to show her and also answered her question. So the question was, how do you store your shoes? How do you store your Dr. Martin boots? Okay, that was the main question. So as you guys can see, I have this box spring bed, but it's also a storage bed. So you lift the bed, the thing up, and then underneath is the storage. So um, I have a built in like a, a in, in downstairs in the basement. I have this, I built this shoe rack in the basement, but I also put some of my um, cleaning stuff in the basement. So I don't have enough space there to put um, all of my shoes. So that's the reason why I actually bought this storage bed. Almost all the beds in this house, they are storage beds. So you... There are box spring with storage underneath. So this is how I store some of my shoes. I will also go downstairs and show you guys the ones I have in the basement. But for now, let me show you guys how I store this. These shoes here, whenever I use um, my sh just shoes, I just clean it and put it back in the box. For example... My Dr. Martin boots. This is the this is the one that the lady asked me. I I barely don't have space anymore because I also have some random stuff that I store underneath the bed. So this is my Dr. Martin boots. So this is how I. If you guys um one of my old videos, I show you guys I wear my Dr. Martin boots to a festival and it was a mess. So when I came back home, I just wash it i just clean it i also had this i also bought this spray that you can spray so that's why it's looking like brand new but i've definitely wear it so many times i went to a festival and sometimes what i do when i'm come when i'm back from those um like for example it's raining and it's very muddy outside when i come back i just get a bucket of water put a soap in it and i just bounce the the, the underneath of the shoe into that warm water with soap i make sure the water doesn't touch um the skin it's just just here just where this rubber is so that's why the bottom is looking like like I, like, I barely wear it, but I've definitely wear this um, multiple times. And I also clean it, spray it with this really nice um, uh, leather spray I got from the shoe mechanic. You know, I have this store where you can take your shoe to make it. So it's a very good spray. And I spray it, so that's why it's looking shiny, like I've never wear it before so this is how i actually so after cleaning it and leave it to get fresh hair also allow it to get fresh hair you know let's all the smelly whatever it is to get out of it i just take it and i put it back into the box like this and i just wrap it back and i close the box and i just close the box like this so anytime i took it out i don't i barely don't have sweet anymore to store any of this so anytime i took it out i wear it it still looks new same goes to all my shoes here most of the shoe i've wear some of them i haven't wear it yet but mostly i wear and whenever i use any of my my shoes i just clean it and put it back example is i have this white nike as you guys can see i wear this multiple times but when i come back um Sometimes I barely cannot get some of the dirt out, but I try my best to get it out. And I just clean it and then put it back into the the box and just skip it like that. And this is how I do. And some of the ones that I cannot get into the box, I just keep it downstairs in the basement. I have the shoe rack where I store most of my shoes. And this, the ones I can fit underneath the bed. And this is how I store it. My Dr. Merton, my... Um, I have also, I think Dr. Martin and this brand also, I just, the same thing I do. I just stay, I just, all my shoes, they're all the same because most of the shoes here are a little bit expensive. Especially my boots, the boots are expensive. So I really make sure I take good care of them. And if you take good care of your boots, your Dr. Martin boots, and they really stay for a very long time. I've, I've got this brand also. I bought this the boots very long time ago. I think I have multiple um, of this. With Dr. Martin, I also have 
um thing the other box i have two the white the white one is down there and so this box i like double double on top of each other because and uh, and also my um jeffrey um Jeffrey, Jeffrey Martin. I don't know how to call the name. I forgot the name. Um, Jeffrey Campbell. Jeffrey Campbell boots. Same thing. I use it. I just keep it back all my shoes. So now I don't really have. Um, I can't buy any shoe anymore. Even though I have this. Oh, I need to get this in here. It's a struggle because it can barely fit. So even though I still have two boots that I really want to buy, but I don't have space. So right now I'm just like, see what can fit in here, cause I have this really nice black boot that I want to buy. It's like a, like a knee, not like high knee boot. It's more like an ankle boot, and I said one black, one brown leather. I really really liked it, but this is this is how I store my boots. This is how I store my boots, and um, if you guys want like uh to show you how I clean my boots, even though I have to use them before cleaning them. I might come up with a video one day showing you guys how I clean my, my boots when after using. I don't use it that often, but if I use it, I make sure I clean it, allow it to get some fresh air, and then I package it back into the box. So they always look neat. They always look like they are brand new, but they are not brand new. I've had this Dr. Martin now for quite a while, and I've used it multiple times. And um, yeah, this is how I just organize. This is how I keep everything. So I hope this answer your question. I will go downstairs and I will show you the shoe rack I have in the basement. And also anytime I'm cleaning the bed, I will lift this thing up, open the window so that the fresh hair can come in. And the, so that's because now we're in the winter, it's very um, cold. So I don't want... Um, my shoes to get spoiled because so i actually sometimes open this and open the window and let fresh air comes in and also like you know rotate and like a circle i don't know how to explain it but yeah hope you guys understand what i'm trying to say but that's how i store it and let's go downstairs and let me show you guys the shoe rack i build it's a little bit messy in the basement but it is what it is let me just show you guys quickly this is the basement it's a bit messy don't judge this is the basement so this is the shoe rack i built so this i have some of my shoes that i couldn't fit underneath the bed so i just remove it um from the box and i just save them here so i have this first row i have one two three four pairs and i have the second row which i have more like my summer shoes and um have this other row where i also have like one two some pair of shoe for the girls like the front row here is for the girls just like down the front row is for the girls and um here i have some of my other shoes and the same goes to down i have my boots I have one boot there other boot there and then i have some of the other shoes there and these are just random um storage things that i use um backup stuff that i buy like cleaning tools that back up bag of rice <laughs> toys for the kids birthday i don't allow them to open everything so i just have it there as a backup extra toilet paper kitchen roll paper and stuff like that and this is just and this is the also uh um shoe rack i build for the kids for the girls each person has two roll and this is this is it actually this is the shoe rack I built for the girls. It's very easy. I built this one in the front, so that's for the kids. It's very easy for them to just collect their shoes. And then we also have um, this one here for like everyday shoes. The first row is mine. And this is where I just put like random shoes I wear and we have this. And we have this one also. It's more like when you go outside, you come back and it's raining. And instead of just putting the, the, the very wet shoe on the shoe rack, and because it's iron, it will spoil. So I got this um, container where you put like your soak shoes. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is just random. So this is just like, this is how I uh, organize things. It's just, I'm, I'm also packing and trying to organize and clean the house. But this is what it looks like, yeah. This is it. This is what it looks like. This is how I organize and this um to organize my shoes. This this is it. This is my basement and here I have all my backup and um random things. 
if you have any questions let me know in the comment box hope this video answered your question thank you all so much for your love and support and i'll see you all in my next video peace out bye